Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the IDA World Championships, uh, Jeju 2023. I've got Tio here with me today, and we're going to both be talking about monofin technique. If you'd like to introduce yourself a little bit. Yes, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Nice to uh, be here with you, and I will try to uh, say not to say interesting thing for you. I will try. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to start the first tee, so we're going to put the list up now for you. So we've got Irina Villa from the Philippines, Sheila Mariano from the Philippines also, Lindsay and D. We don't have any athletes in for this more uh, for this session. Jihun Kim from Korea, and we've got William Joy from China. So they've all started yes. on the first length. Yes. And um, just yes. so I just Tio. recognized the the style from uh, William Joy. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we've already done dynamic five fins earlier on, which was introduced in 2018. Before that, we would always the pr primary uh, discipline in dynamic was they could do monofin or uh, bifins. fins, um, and again it's the same here. You might see some athletes doing. Uh, bifins um, during the session. Um, we've just seen them d turn on 50 meters. And yes, so when you watch uh, uh, William Joy uh, uh, swimming, you can see he's uh, doing two swimming cycles and then he has one gliding phase. So I call it Dine 2, it's like dynamic with two, uh, mm -hmm. two swimming cycles and one gliding phase. Nice. If he's uh, if the athlete is doing just one swimming cycle and gliding phase, I will say about, I will call it uh, Dine 1. Okay. So he's doing Dine 2 and uh, he has a gliding phase. And uh, in this uh, situation, the athlete, William Joy, is trying to, uh, to glide after a propulsive phase from the last, uh, from the two uh, swimming cycle. But the two swimming cycle, if you watch well, are not the same. One, after the gliding phase, the first gliding, uh, glide, uh, swimming cycle is to move his uh, body weight because during the gliding phase, he will uh, lost okay. a, a bit of speed. Uh, normally, you will lost a bit of speed. And then the first swimming cycle will be to gain again, to move your body mass in the water. And the second swimming cycle will be to accelerate the, the, the speed of your body. And then you enter in the gliding phase. Uh, what you can see, his gliding phase is not too uh, long. Okay. It means he's not losing too much speed. So the he can uh, the two swim cycle, you cannot see uh, too much, uh, too big difference. And I, I see that uh, Gion is doing a similar technique as well, isn't he? Yes, but uh, yes, at least, and he's not very far behind uh, William Joy. Yeah. And, uh, so we just let's just uh, we just got Arena's just come up um, at uh, just over 100. So they have started to come up. You can see that she actually had bi fins, and Jihun has just come up, Jihun, um, and doing uh, the OK signal there. Mm -hmm. So that's just over 200 meters. We have still got William coming through. Yes, we am around to 250. Got white cards for Sheila and Arena. From what I can see, they're really happy, so I think they've got some good PBs. Both from the Philippines. It's interesting, I don't know if you know it here, but William has actually broke his foot. So he must be in pain while he's doing this monofin session. So he's just turned at 250. Two, yes, now he, he reached the 275 meter. Yep. Yeah, he's swimming faster, faster to yeah. uh, earn some yes yeah. to earn some distance. This means it's starting to be hard for him. Okay, so Williams now come up. He's doing his surface protocol. He's doing his breathing. And he's now just waiting for the judge to give him the card. To have such acceleration at the end, uh, it's not the very best things to do, but. He can handle it. To be honest, we were broken foot to do that sort of distance. He's broke his foot. 
He's broke a bone in his foot. Ah, okay. I just understand now. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's quite an impressive. He told me he was just going to relax and do some nice dives. So, uh, a very nice dive. He's, uh, yeah, 280, maybe just past 280 on that, that dive. So that's great. So that's the opener <coughs> for the competition. We're going to uh, continue, and he's going to continue to go through some techniques for you and, sh and uh, some interesting techniques from the different athletes, if that's okay. Yes, 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 yes. And we'll get into the groove of us both speaking to you. Um, so, <coughs> we're going to wait for the results as normal um, for the net before we put the next round up. So, um, Tia, you're, you've just um, written the Aida Monofin course? Yes, I just I wrote for Aida the, the, the three manuals for uh -huh. the Monofin course. And um, uh, I hope it will uh, help the people to have a way to practice well the technique. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have three manuals. And the first one is to, uh, to be initiated to the dolphin kick. Okay. And the second manual is just about uh, techniques for monofins, so it's all the basic, the basis mm -hmm. and the fundamentals. And then after the last manual for we call it a, a master freediver, monofin freediver. Uh, the last one is to adapt the, what you learn in the second manual uh, to the discipline of dynamic and uh, const concentrate. Cool. Okay, so um, we're just waiting on those results. I think if we could talk on the next one a little bit about how they're turning. Okay. Um, so that um, our YouTube um, our streamers um, see the different techniques. I know that's one of the uh, things a lot of people struggle with when they first do uh, dynamic with uh, monofin. Okay, so we've got the uh, results up. We've got Arena on the floor, <coughs> has done 140. That's a PB for Arena. We've got Sheila doing a 165, and that's a new national record for Philippines. That's amazing, having done three days already, and uh, to get a national record on the fourth day, when I know a lot of the athletes are tired. We've got uh, Ji Hung Kim, again, a national record. Um, previous national record was 200, so getting a, seven more meters on that. And then we've got uh, William Joy, doing 287 and his um, actual PB is 296. I'm in awe of this guy if I'm honest um, having done that sort of uh, distance whilst uh, struggling with an injury so that's great so we're going to put up the next round the next heat um, I hope you appreciate we've uh, managed to get the national records in on the list um, which is really great uh, so on this one, we've got William Scott from Australia, Ashley Lee Mercer from Australia, Yang Hee Jo from Korea, and Noriki Yeb from Japan. So they're just waiting. They've got uh, two minutes to the official top. So they're all in the water and going into their zone for the competition. Cool, so we got shout outs on the YouTube. Uh, Sebastian Quanta, Love Guy, uh, Go Joe. Um, so, one minute, 30 seconds. We're getting some shout outs already. If you've got questions, especially if we've got somebody who's just written the Ida Monofin courses and you have specific questions on monofin techniques. Put them in the YouTube um, chat, and we can you can get real time information from uh, the person who's written the Ida Monofin course for you. Uh, best opportunity ever to get some uh, free advice on Monofin skills. Yes. <laughs> cool. So, is it your first time commentating? Yeah? First time in Jeju, yes. <laughs> <coughs> You don't understand my accent very well yet, do you? Yes, my English is really bad, so I'm sorry <laughs> if you cannot uh, understand me very well. I 
I have a French accent, and my French mm. accent is also bad. Don't worry, they've been listening to a very northern English accent, and they seem to understand it. So we're all good. So as you can see here, we're going to talk through the start. Um, on the last one, uh, here was, was quite clear he could spot William Joy's start from the beginning. So uh, there's some very specific ways of starting. We're going to talk through that. So the headlights have to start before the next incident. And uh, he has to be in contact with the wall before he starts. And then he always starts with the gliding phase, if he's with the monofin, before starting the swimming cycle. Then again he will choose a dine one or dine two. And uh, when he reaches the end of the pool, he will do a turn. And there is different kind of turn. Uh, the turn, there is one turn, you touch the wall and you move your side to make you able to push with the feet. Mm -hmm. So this is more like a fin swimming style. But otherwise, people just touch the wall and do like a butterfly or Scorpio <laughs> position. So a sort of small but, tumble turn type of approach, yeah? Uh, you have, yes, it's, there is two, two different kind of style. Mm -hmm. The one you just saw is really uh, created by the freediver during the dynamic. Okay. And the uh, one I'm talking to you, when you touch the wall and you try to put your feet on the wall mm -hmm. to push, it's uh, more natural when you do a fin swimming. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the two need a bit of practice. The one in fin swimming is a bit difficult because if you don't have the correct movement, your body will come to the surface. Yeah. You will, uh, you will go to the surface, yes. And the, one, the other one, if you do it well, you will stay uh, on the bottom of the pool. But the problem in this case is uh, after you do the turn, your two arms will be along your body. And then you will have to move back your arm in front of you. So when you do this, you, 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 take some, you fi will find some resistance with the arms mm -hmm. and uh, it can be annoying for some swimmer because you want to move forward and during the phase you come back with your arm, you slow down. So you have to put some effort. So if you want to have less effort, it's also a, a, a moment. You see, he come back with the hand in front of you and in front of him. So young he has come up in lane uh, E, and we've got coming up in lane B. Ashley's come up, and in a, lane A, they've they come up. And you notice that um, the athletes in A and B are both wearing bifins, um, and that is a preference um, that they can put bifins on in a dynamic. And we've now seen. Lane F coming up, doing their surface pulse, that was the longest dive from this heat. We're just waiting for lane F to get the, um, the card. White card for Ashley. And unfortunately, in uh, lane F, Nordi Kabyeb um, has got a red card, and we'll find out later um, why that was a red card. I think, from a very quick look, at our angle on the pool um, is a little bit way off from where he came up. Um, I think maybe he dipped, so that's where his airway went in and came out, but we will find out. Um, shortly when we look at the uh, system. So, Janif, um, I think we uh, thought ahead for you. You asked, can we talk about the turns? Yes, yes, um, I wanted to finish so, about it. Yeah. Yes. So when you do the, we will call it the free diving turn yeah. and the fin swimming turn. Uh -huh. If you do the, there is a compromise. If you do the free diving turn, when you turn, you have to come back with the arm in front of you. Yeah. And then, most of the time, the, 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 the free diver will stop move, to move. Uh, and uh, 
if uh, you do the thin swing turn, you will push on the wall. When you push on the wall, you will just glide with the arm in the good position. But it, uh, it needs more uh, energy to do it. Yeah. So you, you have to choose which one is the best for you. So it's a compromise between Always using more energy on the, the swim finning turns and using more oxygen versus the free diving turn as we're now going to call it. I like those terms. It's like makes, makes it easier for us. Um, there's less energy but less power coming through from the turns. Yes. Is that right? So yeah. when, you, when you push on the wall with the, with, in the fin swing turn, yeah. you, have, you will glide strongly. Yeah. Uh, so it costs a lot of energy to mm -hmm. do it and to control the, the buoyancy. When you do the free diving turn, it's more soft, more quiet, but then you have the two arms along the body and mm -hmm. you will stop your, your swim and you will stop moving until your arm come back and you will again swim from zero speed and use energy also, but uh, uh, it will be more soft. Great. So it's interesting, as we've been talking on other disciplines, there's always a compromise about what technique you use. Um, and it's personal preference. You work through different um, reasons. And I'm just looking for you to understand why we got a red card. Yeah, and uh, for Noniki from Japan, it was, um, he basically dipped his airway. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. We've got the results on. So we have William Scott doing 163. Um, wow, that's a big performance from William. Australian team doing really, really well. Um, that's a lot more than what I've got down as, the, as his um, personal best. We've then got Ashley Mercer doing uh, 154. And again, big, big performance for her uh, past her personal best. We've got Yankee Yo, 154. And then, as we said, we've got um, Noriki Yebe, um, 186, but unfortunately red card on his surface protocol. So we're coming up to round three. And we've got a, we're just going to put the list up for you. So we've got Natasha Lissi from Switzerland, Bella Bulle Tantz from Philippines, Michaela Conception from Philippines, Alice Hickson from Great Britain, David Spretz Ellings from Sweden, Kent Cyril Jodaris from Philippines. And we're gonna see um, what the dives are like now. Um, and on this, um, within this start, we've got Alice is actually the, J the Great British uh, national record holder already for this discipline. Um, and we'll see if we get any more national records. As you've probably seen throughout the competition, this has been a really successful competition for athletes. We've been smashing a lot of national records and we're getting a lot of personal bets. Uh, just a small precision. I, I was talking about fin swimming turn. Of course, it's not a fin swimming turn, but it's a turn made by fin swimmer. In the, if you are a fin swimmer, you would maybe prefer to do this kind of turn by touching the wall and pushing the wall with your, with your feet. Easy terms for our Yes, it um, will be the first, the first you will have in mind when you will want to turn underwater like this, when you are a fin swimmer. So in the manuals, when uh, we talk about technique, uh, the two arms in front of you, we call the triangle block. Triangle block? Triangle block. Okay. The triangle block is composed by the, the two sides is from your arm and the base of the triangle from your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So, and this triangle block uh, should be uh, strong to be able to go in, inside the water, through yeah. the water. So in the manual, we explain all these kind of things, the position the, of the arms, the alignment of the body. The main goal in fin swimming with the monofin is to transmit the force 
when you apply a force in the water with the fins, with the monofin, then you have a reaction force. Yeah, and this reaction fast. force, you try to, uh, to, uh, to make it forward through your body. And to be able to do, you have to respect some alignments. Yeah. So we are talking about this in the books. Perfect. Sounds very, very interesting. And this has been launched now and people can start um, doing the courses? To start the course? Yeah. Uh, the first manuals, any instructor in the uh, IDAF uh, instructor can give it. Yes. So if you're interested in doing a monofin first course, contact your instructor um, and talk to them about them doing that course with you. Yes, the instructor have uh, all the information to be able to give the course in a very efficient way. Mm -hmm. Ah, so here we've got... Um, Let's look at which, which person it is. We've got one doing the one uh, uh, kick and glide. You get to see a difference. Yeah. So you see he is uh, Dine one. One cycle and one glide. So just now she's did two. So I think that is Henry Johnson, who's doing the Dine one. Sometimes one and sometimes two. Oh. So you, it's up to you, it's your ah, strategy. This is interesting, he just completely flipped over. So uh, Lane D, we'll uh, see if we can grab that image of the turns, um, just to have a look at how they are doing the turns, which is Alice, actually. If I watch it well, I, I saw she did one, dine one, dine two, dine one, dine two. Ah, this is an uh, overhead image. And you can also do dine three if you want. <laughs> it's up to you. You have to find your, your, the best strategy for yourself. Okay. Yeah, so if you swim near the surface, you will find wave resistance. So if you want to avoid the wave resistance, you have to swim near the bottom of the pool. We talked about this in uh, dynamic bifins as well, the yes, difference also. in where yes, yes. Um, are waiting and, and where they're choosing to, to go. So there is one athlete who is doing the... the so, so Alice has come up. <coughs> And we've got um, Kent Cyril coming up. That's just Alice there. And we've still got athletes carrying on. Bella has come up. And now we've got uh, Michaela coming up. They're all then We've just got one. David is come, still going along. So David's doing a nice long dive. We'll see where he gets. Great for Bella though. So you see he's swimming and his back is a bit in low doses. He's very relaxed. So more than 200. 200. Yeah. And it's interesting that he's chosen to do uh, bifins. Um, many reasons, to be honest, why they would choose to do bifins um, in this discipline. Um, some people just don't train monofin. Uh, there's a simple fact that some people just don't have a monofin or that they don't want to transport a monofin. Uh, so David's coming up now. He's really working hard to yes. get that oxygen in. But he, he's doing it. Yeah, and he's staying really cleanly up. So they're just waiting for the judge. He looks happy. Yeah. David got a good result yesterday as well, and he's static. <laughs> I 
and the white card has been shown uh, for him. As well. That's great. When you are working on the technique, when you are training during the whole year, you try to make your best for the to have the best technique. But once you are in the competition, you just forgot the technique and you swim. Uh, you swim with what your body remember. So, so uh, Hugh Yang is saying hello, Theo. He yes. hears your voice. Can tell your voice anywhere. So you're getting shout-outs oh, already. Okay. <laughs> My voice is not the one you was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> So that's great. Um, rocking through the uh, starts for today. Oh, yes, but it's Juan. Ah, yes, okay. Ah, now you know who it is. <laughs> yes. <coughs> yes, he's the first one I, I coach in freediving. Ah, nice. Yes. I cannot say bad things about him. <laughs> so we're coming up to uh, round four and we're just waiting on the results from round three for you. So I was talking about triangle block just before. In the oh. books we also talk about alignment because the best way to transmit the force uh, to swim forward is to have the best alignment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, your body uh, have a different curve and you try to, uh, to control it by some position. And uh, when you push down the most difficult is to uh, control the pelvis. Okay. Uh, if you uh, push down you have to put your to maintain you try to maintain your pelvis in retroversion to be able to push uh, in a long way Interesting. and this is difficult the best uh, swimmer the fin swimmer uh, have no butt it means they have the no low doses so it means when they are swimming yeah. uh, they don't have this problem to maintain the pelvis in retroversion okay great that's super interesting. Let's just go through the results quickly before we get on to the next one. We have Natasha Nisi, uh, did 106. We have Bella Bilantis, uh, who uh, did 100, and 100 meters. We had uh, Michaela Conception do uh, 168. Um, and that was a new national record. And the pr um, that was uh, previous national record was 163. We got Alice from Great Britain doing 127. David Spretz Ellings did 234. And from Philippines, Kent Sil did 134. So next round. Two minutes to official time. We have uh, someone smiling on the stuff. Henrik Johnson from Sweden. She Christiana Lee from China. Tracy Rocks Ann from the Philippines. Donggae Kim from Korea. Sun Suk Jung from Korea. And Susanna Retagrova from the Czech Revol Republic. One minute, 30 seconds. So we're going to see maybe some potential national records here. Um, we've got some big personal bests that we, uh, we've got on here. Um, and we've also already got, like, uh, from the Philippines, um, the personal best is the national record. So they may be beating that national record. Uh, so Pablo, um, not using a monofin would be a disadvantage. Yes, um, for, it's likely that um, the people who are going to do the most number of lengths 
uh, will be with the monofin. Um, but also athletes are working on doing overall points. So uh, within the competition, there's points if you do each discipline. So it may be that they just want to get some more uh, meters in within the dynamic and that they'd focused on the dynamic bite fins. And that's why they would still continue Five, to do stuff. Four, three, two, one, official top, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can see there. We've got um, in the far lane, the lane that you'll be seeing first is uh, Susanna uh, from the Czech. Doing quite strong monofin kicking on that, yeah? Wait. Wait, watch her now. A strong kick. The kick is, the harmonofin kick for now is uh, not so smooth. Uh, it, she looks like she has some weight on the, yeah. on the hips. So it can help to maintain the balance uh, in the water, the streamline, but... Come here. Uh -huh. But it's not the best way to swim with the weight on the hips when you have a monofin. It's better to have the weight on the, on the neck. On the opposite of the pool, one is swimming with the non-stop uh, kicking. So Susanna's just come up in uh, lane F. And we've got lane C um, moving forward. Lane D is in by fins, that is the Dongai Kim. And lane E, Sun Suk Chung, is also in the by fins. And uh, Tracy has just come up. Yes. And if you see in lane B, the safeties are working very hard to keep up with that athlete. Um, it is known as probably one of the hardest days for safeties from a speed point of view. So lane D, Dong Ha Kim has come up, waiting for the card. And Tracy's got a, yes. got a white card. And Christina's come up. Just waiting just for um, the card. And we have still got Sun Suk in lane E, who's just coming up now. Taking a nose clip off, doing the OK signal and saying, I'm OK. Nice oh dive. yes, so it was Christina, Ligia Christina, who was swimming with the non-stop uh, kick. Yeah. Like fin swimming style. Yeah. So probably she has a past of fin swimmer. Or taught by somebody who was a fin swimmer in their previous <laughs> life. Yes. So we create, we create the manuals because uh, more and more people are trying to use the monofin mm -hmm. and uh, when you don't have a, a fin swimming club near your, near, your, near your place, it's difficult to learn by yourself and most of the time people don't know in which direction, direction they have to walk to improve the technique.
they don't need to go to a fin swimming club. They can go to a free diving club as well. Yeah? Yes, Is but it? in the free diving club, yeah. uh, most of the time, uh, they don't have a, a specialist for swimming with a monofin. Okay. So the manus was great for to help people to 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 learn and start learning with the good basis. So the swim manual is not about how to improve your your physiology, it's about technique. Yeah. So and that you can course, take the manual, that you can work on yes. it. And of course improve. when you have a good technique then you can improve performance. Yes. And if you improve performance without technique, then you will be uh, locked at a certain point. You cannot improve later, more, more after. So as I was explaining, um, the safety divers are obviously in bifins and a lot of them are in shorter bifins. That's just so that they don't accidentally, um, one of the reasons is so they don't accidentally hit the half athletes as they're swimming above them. Um, but monofin is faster um, in some, in, for some people. You'll see some very fast monofin divers. Um, so the athletes, uh, the safeties really, really have to work hard to keep up and maintain the same pace with them. Um, they have also, uh, the safety have also a short fin because they can act faster. Yeah. And they can, uh, yes, they can move faster yeah. with the fins, it's more easy. So we've got some expectations on some of these divers today, uh, this next round. We've got a few that are um, over 200 meters. Um, and as I've said, we've been getting a lot of personal bests and big jumps in personal bests. So we'll see whether we get anything interesting from this round. So the results from the last round, Henrik Johnson did 211, which is a PB. Um, we have Christina, Z Christina Lee, uh, 213, a new national record. We've got Tracy Roxanne from the Philippines, another national record. Dongai Kim did 131. Sun Sok Kyung did 166. And Susanna did 209. So we have really got a lot of national records from this competition. And if you see there, you've just seen the image of the athletes that are on the round after the one in the water. So they get the opportunity to sit in front of their lane, preparing before uh, their dive. And on the next round, uh, heat five, we have got in lane A from China, Zizi Yatsang from Indonesia, Safir Abadi, international Alexandra Terrible pronunciation, I do apologize. I will ask him properly to teach me how to say his name. So Yang Kuang Fu from Singapore. Kai Shu. Chai Shu from China. And Jeanette Molnar from Sweden. Slavic uh, names, I am actually worse at pronouncing yes. than uh, Asian names, interestingly. Oh, I think I'm better at pronouncing Asian names. I may not be, you may not all criticize me, but I'm, I always think I am better at that. I can read the Chinese name wow. when I use the pinyin. Yeah. <laughs> A 
Yeah, so Jennifer Lee, you're asking where you can find the Monofin manuals? So the first manual is already, uh, you can already download it in the US, or the instructor can uh, yeah. download it. Mm -hmm. And the two uh, gun manuals uh, are completed, uh, we are ready to be uh, post in the US, and uh, it will just take, uh, I think, a few days now to do it. We complete everything now. So, in essence, go and see your local freediving instructor um, and talk to them and they will provide the course, the monitoring course. Yes, yeah. so bef before be able to teach the manual two and three, they have to be instructor. And then I will give the course online. Yeah. But as students, you go and talk to your local freediving instructor. Yes. And they will provide the first course. <clears throat> they should be able to provide the first course. Talk to them. Um, and have a conversation about how you can improve your monofin technique. So, we have... Oh, we have a sprinter in the bifins. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> Which name is it? We break the world record on 50 e. meters. Uh, Kaishi from China. Kaishi. Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaishi. Um, so this e. turn is the one I say is like a fin swimmer turn. Yeah. He pushed on the wall. Yes, I'm not surprised he do this kind of turn because he swim quite fast. Yes, I'm surprised to see him swimming so fast with the bifin. But his body line is very uh, nice to see. And actually, if you had the aerial shot, you would actually see how hard the safety divers are working with him. Um, A bit difficulty for during the turn for Kaisha is not very smooth, but after his body uh, is very streamlined. Yeah. And now we've got most athletes turning at the 100 meter mark. And this is Jeanette coming through that you can see on the screen. The cash is doing 150. And in lane A, they're just turning at 150 as well. Cash is start to have some pain in the legs. He used the arms. So, we got Sophia coming up, has come up, just past the 150 mark. Kaisha is at 200. Yeah. And we still got Jeanette. And we've got Alexandra coming up. And in lane. F, Jeanette is coming up and you're seeing, that's lane A, Gizzi. and lane D, they're still continuing, so they're doing 200 meters and moving forward. <coughs> the national record is actually 229. As so we're getting say, very close as to As you say before, it's all about compromise. If you swim fast, your dive time is uh, shorter, yep. but you lose a lot of energy. And uh, if you are swimming uh, more quietly, you can, your dive time is longer, and you can yep. save some energy. Yeah, uh, and they've just come up. Nearly went into the other lane then. We might talk about that later. So we're just waiting on his white card. I, I have that as a new national record. So that's really nice for him. As you can see, he's putting his arms over the lane broker just to make sure that he stays up. Um, he needs to wait until the judge has given him his card 
um, and keep his airways clean until that card arrives for him. The line are quite big and very, uh, the tension in the line is very good so the athlete can really use it to rest. So he got a white card, so very pleased with that I should hope. Can you, can you no, 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 no. I will tell you why. Yes. Abby, I'm trying to combine um, a little bit of communication about monofin. Um, I'm working on technique as well as uh, going through the athletes. Um, So um, I'm trying to educate people on the different techniques and understand how we can uh, improve our monofin technique whilst we're looking at some brilliant free divers doing the dynamic in the world championships and breaking some brilliant national records. Okay, so we're just going to wait on the results to confirm whether we've got some national records out of that heat. And some PBs. Um, so while we wait for that. We'll wait for, for that to come through. I'm also waiting, I can give you, I think I talked about this in the last few days. So we're gonna to go to an advertisement now, um, and then we'll come back and I'll go through the um, leaders of the current dynamic. When we're embarking on a new adventure, discovering what our mind and body are capable of. We cannot learn to trust in ourselves without first finding trust in our surroundings. The introduction of freediving can be a life-changing experience. Double K wants to grow with you. We provide you the support to focus inward Let your worries disappear and just breathe. We lend you our experience to achieve your full potential and share your energy and excitement. We're part of one team. Together, Double K. So welcome back, we're going to put the results on for the previous heat. And we have Yizi Zhang from China did the 208. We have Safia Abidi, uh, 161 from Indonesia. Um, we have Alexandra Teo, pronounced. Oh, this one, Chico Novek. <laughs> Thank you, 171 international athlete uh, from Singapore. Xing Xiang Fu. And that's a new national record at 239. Kai Shu. She did 200. And Jeanette Molnar did 157. And we're just going to run quickly to the next heat because they're coming up to complete. So. Concentration from the athlete. We have Roly Ben from the Philippines. Wow. So um, we're going to put them up again. Rolly doesn't actually need to do her dive because it's come up with a realized performance. So 
something technical has gone wrong there um, and I hope Roly does dive um, and does, does her dive. So we've got Roly Ben um, in lane A, Dmitry Manovikov in lane B, Alexander Kulastov in lane C, Thomas Wei in lane D, and Yishang Hu in lane E. And in lane F, Sayoka Oi. So you can see there, the athlete is done her their breathing and then they're packing uh, prior. So they're trying to get more oxygen into them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And everybody get started before the ten seconds line. So Tia's going to show technique when he can, and I'm going to um, go through where the athletes are up to for you. So Rolly's coming up in lane A, the first one to hit um, 50 meters and start and turn okay. We've got Yi Shang in lane E turning at 50 meters. And Sayaka from Japan having turned. So everybody's now turned at the 50 meter mark. Sometimes you will be able to see some athletes before enter the gliding phase. Uh, lift, they lift the fins a bit with more power. And uh, this I call it the bullet effect. It sends you in the gliding phase mm -hmm. quite fast. So if you work this in the training, it will be very useful for you. Of course, during the competition, you will not put so much uh, strong in it, but at least if you do it, it will be useful. So this movement is uh, on the last swimming cycle. You go down, and when you lift the fins, you stop voluntarily the fins very uh, strongly at the exact uh, horizontal of the body, and then it will uh, send you uh, in the gliding phase with a very good speed. So, um, Raleigh Bannon's just turned at 150. They're definitely breaking their personal best. And I think they might be trying to go for the national record. We've got in lane C come up, Alexander's come up. And in lane D, Thomas has come up. And in lane A, Rowley has just come up at the 200 meter mark and we've got lane F, Sayaka coming up as well. That's Rowley really, he's got a lot of coaches really shouting and getting him to do his surface protocol well. Philippines have got a, a big team. Um, this year and they are really really supporting each other so in lane B Dimitri is coming is coming up to the 250 mark and in lane E so Dimitri's just come up at 250 and done a nice clean white, uh, nice clean surface protocol. And if you've seen lane E, Yi Shang is, is actually using his arms a lot. His, his legs are clearly tired now. Um, he's from Chinese Taipei. And he's carrying on. He's really worked hard for that. But from what I've got, that this would be a PB if he got he got a clean surface press call. So I'm, we're seeing that I'm seeing that actually from the pool side, and we're seeing it from a side. So um, uh, we'll see. Yes, he got a white card. Very pleased with that. 
Um, and that would be a new national record, I think, as well. We are getting so many national records here yes. in this competition. And so many personal bests. Yes. This is a it really nice they team. prepare the competition very well during all the year. Yeah. They've worked hard for... Training is efficient. Yes. They can keep the same... They can work in the same way. I, also, there's an element of like the atmosphere in the competition. Um, um, we're seeing a lot of camaraderie between athletes and it doesn't seem to be as, uh, it seems to be quite a relaxing competition for athletes. That's what they're saying, it's, it seems to be very friendly and I think that helps as well. Yes, the athlete need a uh, quiet, quiet area to, uh, to focus mm -hmm. and to, to prepare the, the, the performance and uh, everybody uh, respect this kind of uh, atmosphere. Yeah. So, while we're waiting for the results on the next round, so far we have uh, Zhi Christiana Lee from China is number one currently in uh, um, the rankings. Uh, Yi Hong Kim from Republic of China is number two. And Tracy Roxanne from the Philippines is number three. The male, we've got William Joy, number one. We've got Alexander Kruxlaff, number two. And Zizang Kwang Fu from Singapore, number three. So we're expecting these results to possibly change. We've got a lot more dives yet to go. This is, I think we've got 150 divers today. I can't tell you how many divers I've got. I can just look it up in the numbers for you. But we've got a big number of divers on this thing, uh, this day for dynamic. 150, right? I'm scrolling through the system just to double check my numbers. It's amazing, 150, I guess. Yep, absolutely 150. It's the biggest day we've had for this competition as well. So. Um, we're going to see those changes in those rankings, I'm no doubt. So, <clears throat> we're now on round seven. <clears throat> and we're just going to wait to get the results through. Of round six. So you can see, ah, here we go, we've got the results. So we've got Rolly Ben, 200, new national record. Uh, great for the Philippines. Dmitry Melikov from Estonia. Um, we haven't got the result yet. Alexander, here. Yeah. <laughs> Cross the left, 250. Thomas Way from Great Britain, 126. Yishan Hu from Chinese Taipei, new national record for them, 264. And uh, Sayoki Oi from Japan, 162. So next round, we have Jayek Pollock from Poland, Maria Nalasova from Philippines, Analdo Sanatoto, Sana Yoto from Indonesia, Carla Gribben from Sweden, Jordan Duncan from Australia, and Anthony Judge from Australia. So we're expecting um, some big dives on this one. Um, there is potential. Um, Jordan already set a continental record in the Bifins. Um, and her personal best would rank her quite highly in this competition if she achieves that personal best so we will see if we get another athlete in the rankings from this event 
And we've got Anthony Judge from Australia as well. Team Australia, are you online? Um, they've been, they've been uh, getting a lot of followers on the YouTube, I know. So I think in this round, everybody's in Monofin now. Um, so we can possibly see different techniques. We'll see. Okay. I'm ready to, to watch. Analyze and watch them. So you also can try to recognize Dan 1, Dai 2 yeah. on non-stop swimming. So everyone's off. I'm moving into, <clears throat> just getting into it normally within the first 50 meters, getting the rhythm along. So when you do the gliding phase, uh, you have to be uh, careful to not lose too much speed. If you go too far in the gliding phase, uh, then when you want to start again to swim, uh, you will have to work on the core muscle to maintain the balance and you will use a lot of energy to create again some uh, movement in the water. So here we can see um, Anthony's distinctive suit. Um, so it's easy to spot him in the water. And um, he's moving up with his uh, fellow um, Australian in the next lane. So they're going at roughly the same speed. I think they train together, but Aussies, you'll let me know if, if I've got that wrong. Um, and we're, we've got two athletes now over the 100 meter mark. So lane D. Uh, Carlo is moving up to the 150 mark. We have Arnaldo coming, coming up to the 150 mark as well. And in lane A, Jayek coming up to the 150 mark. That's interesting. Complete turnover on the monofin. So in lane B, we've just got um, Maria Noella coming up. She's come up. On the line C, I can see the swimmer is really near from the surface and uh, yep. his triangle block is not very well uh, positioned, it's not very well. So he used a lot of uh, energy to swim forward, to glide. And in lane D, that when they're turning, Carlo, it is Finn, Monofin actually comes out of the water, it's quite interesting. Um, okay, so we've got people coming up now, we know we have um, Jax come up, we've also got uh, Maria come up, Arnaldo so come up, and now in lane A, Jax come up, lane D, Carlo's come up, Anthony's come up at 200 meters in lane F, and we've still got Jordan moving, um, and she's just come up 250 maybe. Oh, oh she's oh. just just trying to get oxygen in and, and interesting what the judges make of that. Um, as you know, yesterday I was judging. Um, I am a senior judge, but I always say, ah, and um, Lane D has just come up. Uh, Carl has just come up. Um, that we can, we can watch on streaming and have an opinion, but the person, the judge is straight in front of the athlete and they got the best position to judge what that athlete did at that surface protocol. So we'll wait for those results. I think we might have 
uh, potentially a few red cards on the surface protocol there, but we shall wait to see what those results are. So if Jordan did get it, then I think that will also be a new continental record. That's the second continental record for her, this, this competition. Now, Benny, I'm not going to say how long Ant's been competing. You're trying to imply that he's an old man, and I know Ant is not an old man. Uh, but if you say he's competed since 2001, he probably is one of um, the longest competitors in this actual competition. Okay, I did get it wrong. Jordy's based in Brisbane and Nance based in Cairns. Sorry. They're very combined as a team, so I always I, I made a bad assumption, a, a wrong assumption that they train together so much. And that's Lisa. Um, Lisa's actually Australian judge as well. She's from Australia. Uh, and is um, Ida Australia. So she's been uh, supporting her team. Uh, one thing which I don't think we've mentioned, so within a World Championships, it's not the same as in normal competitions. In a World Championships, you can't judge your country. Um, so they make sure that they um, don't have the athlete um, national uh, within the judges national. So uh, Lisa cannot judge Australian athletes in a world championships. And the same if we do protests, which we do protest in the evening, um, if, that you're, if you're a judge and the protest is about um, your con one of your athletes from your country. We actually have to leave the room and let the other judges do the protest. Just so there's no, seen as no bias. Because we're just waiting on those results. Um, and if we get some white cards, I think the um, The ranking might change for the women as well. Okay, ah, so we have Jack Pollock, we've got 227. New PB from uh, that. We've got Mariella Noella, uh, got a yellow card um, at 126. And I'll have a look and see if I can find out why with that yellow card in it shortly for you. We got Analdo Sanito. 190, and that's a new national record. Um, we've got Carlo Gribben, 224. Um, I think we'll be getting another PB cake for Carlo because that's above his national, his personal best. Jordan, unfortunately, um, got a red card, but 216. I'll double check the results on the system, but I would say that's a dip. Uh, weighed it and Anthony got 200 um, which is another PB from what I can see on the system so great dives unfortunately um, Jordan didn't quite get the result and uh, we'll have a look at why in a moment so next round we have Hugh Mancha from Singapore no? You're laughing at my pronunciation. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I may be bad also, but maybe it's better to say Huai Mian Chai. Ah, okay. Huai Mian Chai. Huai Mian Chai. Matus Palatek, Poland. Huai Mian Hu Xinghe. Hu Xinghe. From China. Natalia Willock from Poland. Iris Ala Ola from Finland. And Paula Johnson from Sweden. So while we're waiting to, for this one to start, I'll go through and I'll see um, uh, on the system, 
we will have the result. So you can go into the IADA International System, go to the competition, and you will see the live results, the pre uh, pre uh, preliminary results mm -hmm. in the system. So, yeah, Jordan got DQ Airways. And uh, need to check from Maria um, on why yellow. Potentially it's like a late start because it's a penalty oh. system. So as you can see in this dive, we've got <clears throat> a few people in bifins. Um, and even in doing bifins, they can do dolphin kick, which lane E is actually doing. So uh, Alice is actually doing bifins, but she's using a dolphin kick, which is completely acceptable to do as it's a dynamic discipline. So we've got <coughs> Variation, <clears throat> we've got um, everybody's now turned at 30 me at 50 meters. We got Matus um, in, in Monofin, it's interesting. He's quite a quite a slow diver for Monofin. You'll see him coming up in a minute too. Okay. So this is an interesting heat because we have a lot of different speeds. Um, I'm working out where everybody is. Um, yeah, it's, it's difficult to catch uh, one and, yeah. and focus on his technique. Yeah. So we've got... Um, Paul, um, no. Iris has just come up, uh, just over the 100, 125 meters, I think. And in lane A, is coming up now, so over 150. Lane C is just coming up. See. And she just slipped slightly when she grabbed onto that line, which is one of the things you need, really need to grab that line and come up um, and hold onto it. But she's got a very good coach. It was making sure that she knows what she's doing on surface protocol. One, five, zero. Great, she got a white car, that's really nice. So we've still got Paula in um, lane F, continuing, and everybody else has now come up. Paul's just come up now at just past 200, which is a new personal best for her. And she's just doing her surface protocol now. So question, did I miss Ant and Jordi? Yeah, from um, on our timing, they were on at 10 o'clock, not 11 o'clock. 
sorry about that, but you can rewind the YouTube and you'll get to see the dives. And I won't let them know that you didn't get up in time for them to watch their dives, huh? Okay, so as you can see, a um, lot of different speeds and that one heat demonstrated how many different speeds athletes can go because it was so, we got people turning at 50 and people still at 25 meters, yeah? Yes, so they all have different kind of technique or style. We can talk about technique when they use the same uh, materials, when mm -hmm. they do the monofin or when they do the bifin, so it's another technique, swimming with bifin. And then we can talk uh, when people have different, uh, all swim with the monofin, they all have different style. Yeah. And uh, I think it was uh, uh, Pola, right? The bifins. Bifin, small yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So she's the first one I saw with a small bifins and doing dolphin kick, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you're starting out in free diving, I know we get a lot of people who are just beginners. Um, one of the things is, is to go to the swimming pool and play around and uh, look at different techniques. Um, as uh, Theo said, not focus on how far you can go, but first just play around and get comfortable with technique, work on technique first before you try and move forward um, and really try and get um, more meters in dynamic. Um, it'll make more, the more meters much more enjoyable if you've worked on technique and worked on what works for you. And if you work on techniques, work on short distance yeah. with good rest. Yeah. Because if uh, someone said to you uh, to swim something tech... Oh, yes, please. No, 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 can't you? <laughs> okay, so you're doing the pronunciation today, though, so ah, come to your So, Hui Min Chai. 175. Maybe I was correct in the pronunciation. Uh, so Matthew that's Splatter. a PB. Yes. Okay. Matthias, um, I've got that as a PB as well. Hu Xinghe. Another PB I have done. Natalia Wilk. Another PB. Uh, Lewis Alaola. Another PB. Paula Johnson. Another PB. So if my numbers are correct, because the, uh, where I get these numbers from is what the athletes put into the World Championships database when they announce they also ask to put their personal best in if they're all being accurate then we have just had a PB round which uh, for many of us means a huge cake because PBs make cakes um, in I, I asked the other day and um, some people was like never heard of that um, but the Swedish team um, after the no fins uh, definitely came in the restaurant with a cake for the PB, for the one of the divers for PB. So it's not just our hub who do PB cakes. Do you do PB cakes? No. No? Okay. <laughs> but it's I'm going to convert the world to do PB cakes. In uh, France, we do champagne. Ah, okay. Yes, PB champagne. We can't get champagne easily in <laughs> Egypt, so, you know, but cakes are very nice in Egypt. Okay, we're going to put on the next round, the heat nine. So we have Maria. Tia just sighed then. He <laughs> thought I was going to make him do it. So Maria Sinopira from Finland. Shi Zhong Xiao. From Chinese Taipei. I'm not sure really. Klaus Kasten from Germany. Wang Jing Kim. From Korea. Yu Fang Yu. From Chinese Taipei. Rami Bloodlab from Sweden. One So for, um, is everybody reading these comments? So Benny, Ant Surface Protocol is Surface uh, Facial Equipment OK sign and I think he, I left the oven on. 
I will ask him later at the after party uh, whether this is a true story or whether you're just making up rumours about Anthony. We shall see. Um, but good banter, thank you. So we're waiting on this. Have we got everybody in Monofin? I can't quite see. So I know we have some. Lane B, I think, is in um, Bythons, from what I can see. So that's the overhead camera that you can see. So you can see an overview of <coughs> the pool. And then I can see um, the other end of the pool is where they're all warming up. So I think everybody went at 10 or just before 10 seconds on that dive. So you so can see lane E. Uh, before he enter the gliding phase, he do a good bullet effect with the fins. The fins come to, and he stop the fins uh, when okay. the fins reach the horizontally of his body. And um, Rami in lane F is a much bigger movement of the body position. Um, it's in the red suit here. Yes, see. Yeah. yes maybe too big. So we've got everybody now <coughs> past the 50 meters. And we've got uh, Yufang uh, coming up to the 100 meters. Quite a fast. Yes, quite fast. Uh, and a fast turn as well. Yes, but he's uh, smooth. He bet on the shorter dive time. Yeah. Rami has a very distinctive suit, which makes it much easier for us commentators to <laughs> yes. uh, recognize yes, them. Yes. But now we've got uh, first diver past 150 at a uh, lane E, and lane A is coming up, Mila is coming up to 150 as well. We've got um, lane F. Rami has um, completed their dive and we've got um, Klaus doing 150, Wujing doing 150 and uh, Zhijong, uh, who's the person in the Bifins, moving past 150 as well. So we've just got um, Yufang coming up at 200. And we've still got lane D, C, B, and A. Lane A's just come up. Mirna's just come up. Just past the 200. And lane D has just come up at the 200, Rujin. And lane B. Shijang has just come up, just past the 200. So we've just got Klaus continuing the dive now. It's quite an even paced uh, technique. And he's come really shallow, which I think, yeah. Now he's come up, you can see him take the goggles off, nose clip off, did he okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. And then he said, I'm okay. Awesome. Awesome. So basically he followed exactly what his coach said. So they told him goggles off, nose clip off, okay sign, let him breathe a bit and then said, I'm okay. And then after that, she's telling him to breathe, breathe, breathe. White card. 
That's 255. Oh. Which is a nice new personal best. And he's just said, wow. <laughs> he's so very. <laughs> I think he's a little bit shocked about the distance he got on that dive. And his coach is doing a nice PB dance for him. Yes, at the end of the dive, he, uh, you can watch it. He was uh, a bit tired, so he, he surfaced. Yeah. And uh, he cannot control too much the uh, buoyancy. Yeah. And then he used a lot of energy during his turn, but he did it. And yeah. he surfaced five meters further, yes. Yes, when you do this kind of turn like he did, uh, when you have uh, acid, <coughs> acid lactic in the leg, you can yeah. no more control very well what you are doing. So the time you try to control your muscle, then he surfaced a bit with the back. Yeah. So we've got some love on the YouTube streaming for the safeties. They've been working so, so, so hard. Um, and they definitely deserve that uh, love. <coughs> Sorry, Ed, if you've been listening in to me, no, I'm getting better, but my cough is still there, so I do apologize. So, so far the male, uh, men's has not changed on the ranking. I'll just see if the females have changed. No, at the moment we've still got the, the top three from earlier on in the session. So, we will see what happens going forward. We've still got, we're on, uh, we're going to go on to uh, round 10 and we've got 25, 25 rounds in total. So we're just waiting on the results from that round. They're coming through. It was actually a fast round because we've still got three and a half minutes before the next round. So we're just going to go quickly to a quick advert and we'll see you shortly. First time I've done it. Really? Oh. <laughs> okay, welcome back. So um, the pre preliminary results from heat nine. We have Mira Sionpera did 209. Uh, new PB. Go on to you. <laughs> from <know>. Chinese Taipei <laughs> um, did 209. Um, he really blasted, they really blasted through their PB, if, if that's what I've got accurately here, so a lot more. Uh, from Germany, Klaus Kasten did uh, 255, and that's a new nice national team. record, yeah, that's nice. Uh, Wu Jin Kim, uh, 202 uh, from Korea, but unfortunately they got a red card. 
Um, you found you. Found you. I uh, did 200 for Chinese Taipei, and she got a new national record as well. And then Rami Vladvlav uh, from Sweden um, did 119. So we're coming on to the next round. And we have uh, Jovan Giovanni from Indonesia, Maya Moromura from Japan, uh, Kemal Ale from Turkey, Bong Yu Wakwak from Korea, Rama Akuna from Philippines, and Marika Konolola Chumain from Finland. So everybody's uh, off. I think one of the potential uh, high rankings in the female is going to be Maya. Um, we'll see uh, from Japan. She's got a long uh, distance in this discipline already. But as you've seen from some of the other days, we have had some surprises. Uh, so um, anything can happen in this competition at the moment. We've had some people come out of the blue here. Just now, when oh, the, 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 that one was synchronized. Is, uh, the one who is uh, turning, yeah. the first one, his dolphin kick are very uh, shall, uh, small. Yeah. So he could be more efficient. And um, because he do a very small one, he cannot catch water too much. Okay. And also he do it fast, so he's not using too much the grip on the water. Mm -hmm. So everybody's going past um, the 50 meters and we've got the first person coming up. which is uh, Rama from Philippines, just short. And we've got people moving past the 100 meters now. Marika in lane F, moving nicely to the 150. Maya is probably, Maya and Bong Jai are Similar speed, and Jovan is moving in bifins towards the 150 mark. That's actually very uh, clear. Um, um, yeah. So Marika was coming up shallow, but I think there was a decision that she was going to come up at that point. So 150 done. And that was actually a personal best for America. So uh, Jovan's come up um, at 170 maybe, a little bit more possibly. And we have... Bonjai. <coughs> Still diving. Rama still diving. So uh, Bong Jai has just come up. Bong Joe has just come up in lane D. And we've still got Maya past the 200 mark. <clears throat> it's the last dive. As I said, she's got some big numbers, but this is definitely past her personal best. She's just coming up now. Looking very clean, to be honest. Yes. Very really clean. nice performance. Yes. yes. Um, that actually might be a new continental record as well. We'll need to confirm the number. But um, on my records, I have um, 
Asia Women's um, Continental Record at 214. And that's more than that, so that's an amazing dive for her. Big celebrations. Very nice. Yes, huge performance. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to check because um, obviously I'm talking a lot about the athletes and the different numbers, but Maya actually got third in the uh, Bifins dynamic as well. So um, we'll see what she gets overall in the dynamic. So that was a really interesting round, some good numbers in there. Um, and we'll wait for the next round. So uh, let's look. So yeah, so that number, Maya's got 237. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if I can grab her later and we can do a quick interview with her. Um, that puts her at number one so far in the dynamic standing. Um, there's big celebrations for Japan um, on, on that. Um, she's very, very pleased. And that's Yulia um, and uh, William, uh, all the judge assistants and the camera staff who go to walk around that's just one team for one lane. That's how many people we need to judge one lane. So in the males, um, we've still got William uh, Joy at number one, but then we now got Xu Zhang Hu uh, from Chinese Taipei at number two, and then Klaus Kasten at number three from Germany. So that we're starting to see changes, and this I am absolutely sure will continue throughout the day as we get uh, more divers coming through. As I've explained, but because I don't know who's coming, watching each day, or if you're just watching, tuning in for the one day. Um, when they do their announced performances, it's a very tactical decision for athletes to do it. Maybe they want to announce one meter because they want to be um, at the beginning of the day. That's their routine when they, they train. They want to be able to eat breakfast earlier, or they don't want to eat breakfast. They want to die without breakfast. They want to do their meditation and stretching. Whereas others want to be mid part of the day, maybe because they want to coach their friends or their athlete, fellow athletes. Or they want to be right at the end so they will announce a big performance because they actually want to wait and see what everybody else has done so that they know how far to go along. So we'll just wait for the results from that round. I'm just going to wait for them to come through. Um, great, thank you so much. Uh, Jovan and Giovanni, uh, 169. Smashed their personal best from what I can see in Indonesia. Uh, Maya Morimwa. Why have I just only pronounced Maya's name wrong? I apologise, Maya. Um, is 237. Personal best, national record, and I think continental record. We're not putting up continental records from the system, um, but I think you'll find later that that will be continental. Um, Kamal didn't start. Uh, Bonjou, um, 203. One Rama, 89. Uh, Monika, 130. Uh, sorry, 149. Um, and that's Bass, their personal best as well.
So moving on to the next round. We have Gert here. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, we have Shafi. <laughs> so we have Siafidat Tool Azwa Shafi. From Malaysia, we have Nani Martins Ishwaka from Brazil. Daniel Daniel Kwok. Kwok. Ah, don't, you're not getting the easy <laughs> ones only. Christina from uh, Serbia. A Valentin. From France. <laughs> and. Uh, Shu Roger from China. So, Valentin will uh, enjoy four, this dive. Three, two, one. Official top plus one, two, three, four. Five, he told me he will six, just want to join seven, this race to eight. enjoy. Enjoy. Yes. Actually, I think I've had a few athletes who said that at different days, and I think it is like, no, it's just I'm just going to enjoy this dive. Right, it's not my preference dive, he already, so I'm he already have fun. He already competes uh, in the diving. Yeah. So he just wants to, uh, to, uh, to take more experience. Yeah. So he come back uh, in the dynamic to swim with the diving again. Yeah. And enjoy and get some more experience in the World Championship. So we've got Roger turning on uh, lane F. Have we got everybody doing bifins on this dive? Is everybody doing bifins? Yes. Yeah, so we have a heat of uh, dynamic, um, but everybody is actually doing uh, bifin, uh, diving with bifins, from what I can see. Yes. So, lane A, uh, Azul has just come up from Malaysia and done a nice, comfortable dive. Um, much less than her personal best, so I think she's just, as you said to her, like taking a nice easy day, didn't really want to push herself, just wanted to get a dive in from the World Championships. So we're getting, uh, turning at 100 meters for the rest of the round. We've got in lane. Well, turn at uh, 100. Yeah. Roger's turn is moving towards the 150, which is in the nearest lane to you. And you've got um, Daniel coming up as well, just past the 100 meters. You've got Roger turning. You've got Nari, Nara turning. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and we've got Rogers is coming up past the 150. Looks very clean. Valentin's come, come up as well, very clean. Yes. And we've got Christina. There she, there she. Um, by Sasa telling her to breathe. We've got lane C, Daniel come up, I said, and we've just got lane B um, is continuing the dive. And very, uh, so now it's just coming up from Brazil. Breathing nice and easily. The only athlete from Brazil. Um, there's a number of teams where it's just one athlete representing them. Um, nice and relaxed round I think. Yes? Yeah, yeah, like I think because it's maybe bifins, wasn't as fast, seems to be a more relaxed round. Around 195 something for Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah just short, so... Just showing her surface protocol. Definitely a PB, and we're just going to check what the um, what the national record is for Brazil. So, if you actually ever want to, if you're interested in, you just started free diving, or you're thinking of um, competing, if you go to the Ida International website, you go 
on the three lines on your right hand side a number of lists will come up and the second one is national records you can put in your country you can put in your discipline and then male or female press the button to apply um, and you get the national record uh, for you um, and that is going to be a national record for Brazil um, which the current national record is uh, 148 meters so that was definitely over 148 meters so nice, nice national record So thank you very much, Theo. Maybe come back later. Okay. I know you've got some athletes to see. Okay, see you later. Zua from Malaysia, I've been asked to say. So, Zua from Malaysia. Um, did a nice dive, nice relaxed dive today. So, you just have me talking to you for the next uh, few dives. Um, we have two more rounds before we go to a break um, and that's part way through the event I honestly can't believe that I've only been here for like four days um, it feels like a lot longer Spider-Man is our Spider-Man photographer is going past at the moment he's great fun So we're just waiting for the results. Okay, we're gonna to go to an advertisement right now. Okay, welcome back from the advertisement. We're on round 12. We're gonna try and put up quickly before they start the results of round 11. So Azura from Malaysia, as I've been told very nicely just to call hers, because I'm struggling with pronunciation still, did 56. Nada 
from Brazil, new national record, 191. Daniel Kwok from Singapore, 120. Christina from Serbia did 127. Uh, Valentin uh, from France did 132. And Roger from China did 162. And uh, for the guys on streaming, um, Anthony and Jordan were on at 10 o'clock and it's now 10.49 for us. So we're gonna put the heat, the, this current heat on. We have Latimer from Sweden, Jared from Australia, Gloria from Latvia, Windy from Indonesia, Celia from China, and Koei from Japan. So they've all started. I think we had clean start, but we'll see. So we have a, a DNS in lane A. Um, uh, Vladimir has, has maybe chosen not to dive. Jarad in lane B, turning now in monofin. We've got uh, Gloria in lane C, doing bifins. Uh, Windy in lane D on monofin. And they're just making, all of them making the way up to the 100 meter line. Uh, Celia in lane E is on monofin. It's turning nicely. Turning a little bit shallow, which I know Tia talked about, like that, that balance. And finally, Kowie. Uh, turning now at 100 meters as the slowest person in this round. So in lane C, Gloria's just come up at 50 at 100 meters, chosen to come up at that point. Donna service protocol and just waiting for her white card. She was the uh, person in Bifins. We've got. Windy, Celia, and Jared, all at right at the same time, turning at 150. And Koei is now turning. So we've got Celia come up, Windy's come up, and done the surface protocols. And we've got Jaira continuing and in lane E, Kobe slowly making the, both their ways towards the 200 meters. You see um, the safeties are just putting their hands up so they're not clear that they're not touching. And the athletes are both just waiting for cards. So two white cards there for Celia and Wendy. Wendy's so much fun in this competition. So, uh, Kobe's just come up and is doing his surface protocol now. And we've got Gerard from Australia. Just coming up now, past the 225 mark. Coach really working on making sure they have the right service protocol, telling them to breathe. and they're waiting for the white card and the numbers.
double check because I think maybe we had some national records though. Um, we'll see what we had. Celebrations um, from the Australian team. Showing the white card from Yulia. I think they're very happy with that dive. So we're just going to get those results coming through and we can see whether we got national records or PBs. And then this is the final round before the break. So we're just going to put those results through for you now. As I expected, we had um, some nice national records in there. So um, we have uh, Gerard, 235, new national record for Australia. <coughs> we had Gloria doing 160. We had Wendy doing uh, 167. And that really smashed um, her own personal best and create, got a nas national record. Uh, Celia did 166 um, and Koei did 181 which would have been a, a, a personal best but unfortunately got red card which I suspect was for Airways but we'll c confirm that in a moment for you. So next round. One minute we have uh, Karl Kratz from Poland, Shoko Kawabashi from Japan, Agnes McClay from Australia, Chan Hai Kai Shang from Chinese Taipei, Dahi He Dai from China, and Fang Jiang from China. One minute. Oh, 
30 seconds. Yeah, so Kerry uh, got red card for Airways, so he dropped the, the Airways below the water. Three, two, one, official top, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So everybody set off nice and within the 10 seconds. And we've got a combination of bifins and monofin in this uh, round. So you've got um, Hidai coming in at, in lane E, just turning at the 50 meters. Uh, Kai Shang coming turning at 50 meters in lane D. And Frank Yai just turning, uh, giant Frank just turning at uh, 50 meters as well. I've just got Maya here with me. Is that how you pronounce your name? My name? Yeah. Mai. Mai. Yes. Mai, okay. Um, I'm just going to get you a mic for a mic, is that okay? I'm going to get you one of these. Yay. Right, so we'll just we'll mic my up because I wanted to have a chat. Uh, thank you. Um, whilst we're talking through this round. So, you're on. Okay, you just speak normally. Hello. <laughs> so we've just got this round. Um, we've got a... Uh, I'm Yes, yeah. I know her. So, okay. Yes. So they're, they're diving now. Um, you can see it on this screen, or you can stand up and see it as well. Okay. So we're just moving towards the 150 mark. Uh, Fang has just come up in lane F. Um, but everybody else is continuing the dive. So we've got Hidai coming in. In lane E, he's turned. Lane D, Kai Shang is turning. Lane C, Agnes is turning. And then Shoko is just coming up to the turn as well, as is Cal. So lane C, Agnes <coughs> is just finishing and doing his surface protocol. And we're coming up in lane E. He dies really working on the surface protocol. And we're turning it to, uh, just turn it 200 meters for, um, for lane D, for Kai Shang. And uh, Shoko is just coming up, my. So do you train with Shoko? No, I'm usually living in Sweden. Ah, okay. <laughs> Big celebrations. Uh, normally means PBs, white cards, or even national records, and we'll find out about that. We have still got Carol coming. Um, he is turned at 200 and he's moving along. You can see his technique on the screen. Nice shallow kicks. Uh, the 2D. Ah, no, constant at the moment. So he's just done his surface protocol. I'm waiting for the result from that. And white card for him. So 
So just before we go on a break, me and Mary are going to have a quick conversation. Okay. So come and stand here, Mary. So, um, how's the competition been for you so far? Um, it's been, I, I was really nervous, but okay. really happy to see all the Japanese uh, members and uh, really nice to see like friends uh, over the world who I knew from the internet, but finally met to see <laughs> and the uh, performance went good. So you I'm had happy. how many records? Three continental records. Wow. <laughs> Were you expecting to do that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm happy. Yeah, I would yeah. be happy as well if I had that. <laughs> yeah. So um, which records did you get? So you got dynamic? Uh, I compete only dynamic. So it's uh, di bifin, no fin and uh, mono fin today. So if you trained on static, you could get the whole... No, Great. I don't know. I don't like static. <laughs> I don't like static. <laughs> but uh, Valdemar, I'm living in Sweden yep. and uh, I'm training with them. Ah, and okay. Valdemar, Rami, yeah. they are really strong static yeah. drivers. So I should. Uh, you should maybe try, try it. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And how do you like uh, Jeju and Korea? You good, been before? good. Uh, no, never. I've been to Korea before, but uh, never in Jeju. Ah, okay. But I haven't. You have just been in the hotel yeah, and back to Exactly. So. Yeah. So I don't know if um, people are watching. So um, we actually, a lot of us um, have maybe escaped, maybe for one day. Um, but pretty much our routine is breakfast, pool, back to the hotel, maybe chill out for you as athletes, go for dinner, sleep. And it's pretty much that for a lot of people at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah. But final day, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. So amazing. I've been so in awe of you. That's why I wanted thank to come talk. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, I'm thankful for like my you coach. Can, yeah. And, yeah, thank you, Mirella, for coaching and uh, all the like uh, Swedish national members who train with me, Stockholm Sapnea and Ariel Fridikning, and uh, my family in Japan. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're going to go to a break now um, and come back shortly.
Hey, and welcome back from the break. So we have round 14, and we have Yi Li from China, Shekho Chao Zi from China, Marta Kolonaska from Poland, Elena Molasva from International, Janita from Finland, and Bevin from South Africa. So going to be an interesting round. I think the one to watch in this round is Bevin. She's the new addition to the free diving scene. Um, and we really haven't seen what she can do in dynamic yet. So let's see what happens. But she's got a lot of support on YouTube. People are coming, tuning in to watch Bevin. Five, four, three, two, one. Official top, plus one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And everyone started before <clears throat> before the ten seconds and the off on the nice getting in, uh, comfortable on the first fifty meter, getting into the flow, um, <clears throat> and mini starting to be comfortable. We've got some people in bifins, we've got some people in monofin. So Bevin and Janita have turned and so has Elena. And we've got Marta turned. And uh, Jenko and in lane one, you has turned and that's the person who's doing bifins. So we have um, some interesting numbers on this. I've got some people I've actually got personal best for. So we'll see where we get with uh, athletes. So the first person coming up is in lane B. Senko's done 100 meters, nice and comfortable, done the surface protocol and waiting for the white card. You have Bevin and Elena around the same pace, moving up on the 150 meters. And we can see the big movement. And in lane D, <coughs> Elena's come up, done a very nice clean protocol, it looks like, um, and is waiting for a white card. And that's Bevin that you're seeing with big, long uh, and deep monofin kicks. And in lane C, Marta's just come up at the 150 meters, We're doing a nice surface protocol, goggles off, done an okay and said I'm okay and keeping herself nice and clean. So what we've got left is we've got Janita and Bevin from Finland and South Africa moving towards the 200 meters. Based on the records we've got, this is personal bests already for both of them. And you've got Janita coming up and just done a protocol past the 250 meters. And you've got Bevin still going along. Moving towards the 250 meters. And she's coming up just short of the 250. Doing the okay sign, saying I'm okay. Looks a little bit tired, she's done four. This is her fourth hard dive. So, and we're just waiting, waiting for, okay, for her white card.
We're seeing whether she gets a white, yellow or red card. So that's 241 for Bevan. And um, that will be a new continental record and a new national record for South Africa. It's a really nice dive. So we're going to show you the results of the heat from the previous one just before the break. And so far that would put Bevin as number one on the dynamic. So heat 13, the preliminary results, Carol is 239, Shohoko 187, Angus 165, Kaishang 200, Hidai, which is a national record, is 210 for China, and Fang Yang 113. Some nice dives there. And just to clarify, I need to check on the Chinese on the previous dive. Did I ch not get the right country um, on that national record? I don't actually think that's a national record. We'll come back to you on that one. So we're waiting for the results of this last. Um, this last round before we move on to round 15. And while we had a break, I had a really nice opportunity. The Hanyo, um, uh, the women uh, divers who are based in Jeju, um, very famous, uh, they actually uh, were doing a barbecue for all the athletes outside and um, opportunity to take pictures, etc. So everyone was uh, enjoying a barbecue while you were waiting for us to resume our streaming. And we have Spider Man, Spider Man photographer, in the shot there. So we're just waiting for the results before the next round, round 15. So we have uh, Yui from uh, 115, Shenko Z for 100 meters, Marta 150, Elena didn't, uh, we're waiting for the results, Janita Kulalaka 187 and that new national and I think continental record for Bevan. So, the uh, next round, we have Tommy from Finland, Shajun from China, Xian from Chinese Taipei, Jason from Hong Kong, Patricia from Singapore, and uh, Yuzhen from Korea.
So we've just uh, had a slight delay and we're restarting the official top for the next round of athletes. So the women's ranking is changing. Um, uh, every, it seems to be changing quite quick, quickly. And the men's is staying with, we still, we've not got many changes in the rankings for the men. So in this round. Two minutes to official time, one minute, 30 seconds. No. So we've just got some technical dish to cause on the um, start times, um, which I think they're trying to fix. And we got a shout out for Pat. Patricia, go Patricia. 30 seconds. And everybody started on that line. <clears throat> and we move forward for this round. And then we've got a combination of people in bifins and monofins. So the first one, Tommy, does a nice turn. <clears throat> On is moving towards the 100 meters. We can see Zian and Pat turning as well, and also Jean from China. And in the far lane, Yuan from Korea bringing up the rear of the turns. Actually Tommy is very fast compared to the rest of the round um, so we're going to see him on the camera shot on the way back as other people are going towards the turn. And we've got some streamlined bifins there. And Tommy's turned at 150. And Yuan is uh, the slower of the group, but he's also in bifins, so that does make a difference. And we've got Pat coming up to 150. And we've got Zian coming up to 150. And now we've got Jean coming up to 150. And Jason's in Bifins, he's just coming up now. Just past 150. And we've got Pat finishing at 150. Tommy just did 200, but he's just being um, helped by the safeties. Didn't quite get his surface protocol, I don't think. So we've still got in the race. We've got uh, Yang coming up now from Korea. Just past the 150 in Bifins. 
Jason's done, got a white card on, on his dive. And we've got Zan coming up past the 200 mark, 225, doing his surface protocol. And we've still got lane B, Chandran coming up, oh, very same meters, done his protocol as well. Wants to make sure he keeps up. That's Yon from Korea. And this is uh, Zha Jun from China, just waiting for his white ca his card as well. I'm always optimistic, I always want them to get white cards. Um, so we're just waiting to get his card. So apart from Tommy from Finland, it looked like we got all white cards on that round. So some long dives on that. <coughs> um, and hopefully we've uh, solved the technical problems of the official, um, we do electronic countdown. So uh, we have um, a countdown app uh, from Ida. Um, and depending on your competition, you either get the judge physically doing the countdown or um, the uh, app does it, so it's electronic. So in my competitions, I compete at, I judge for Freediving World in Sharm El Sheikh uh, with Andrea Sakari's competitions. And at those competitions, we have electronic um, countdown. It makes our life a little bit easier when we've got so many days and so many athletes. Um, you do get a hoarse voice um, if you're doing countdown for so many hours a day. So we use the electronic. But when I'm doing my blue ocean pool competitions, I don't have as many athletes. Um, it's a one lane pool. Uh, so I tend to then do um, verbal countdowns for it. But it's very easy to get hold of the AIDA countdown app if you're doing competitions, um, especially big pool or deck competitions, and run with that. But as you've just seen, you need somebody on standby in case it fails so that you can have a verbal countdown happening as well. So we're just waiting for the results from round 15 before we show you the athletes for round 16. So we got the electronic countdown now working again. So the results from round 15. Ah, uh, Tommy, uh, he did do 205, but um, he got red card. Um, he really struggled on hypoxia on that dive um, and the safety's had to support him. Shajun, uh, did 225, Zaxon, Zin, 227, waiting on Jason's result, Pat, 150, and Yuan from Korea, 159. So some nice long dives there. Um, and we'll see if that makes a difference in the top 10 in the male. So this heat, we have... Zyonga uh, from Korea, Veronika from Poland, Li Xin Yu from Chinese Taipei, Magdalena from Poland, Lawrence from France, and Lee from Australia.
30 seconds. You can see from that view, you've got athletes Five, starting to four, breathe up and do, three, they're going to be two, packing, one, getting a little bit more one, air into two, their lungs three, four, before they start five, their dives. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I see that everybody's going within the right start time. And Again, we have a combination of bifins and monofin. So we've got athletes in lane A, B, C, D and E. But I think Lee <coughs> from Australia is a do not start. So first athlete. Turning is a uh, younger from uh, Korea in Bifins, followed by Bodenka, who's in the Monofin, and we've got Lynn and Magdalena in Bifins as well, and Lawrence in Bifins. A little a different technique there um, with the terrace fins. She's got uh, they've got their arms by the side rather than stretched up. Some people prefer that, as we talked to Tia. That's uh, some preference um, <clears throat> of how you dive. Um, they look very nice and relaxed though in that dive, and that is Lawrence. And we've got some uh, the can't quite work out which lane it is. They were doing the arms as an extra. So that's <coughs> Magdalena really <coughs> struggling on her surface protocol. And we've got Barinka coming up um, and doing a strong surface protocol. And we've still got My delay, uh, Lin, Yu Lin coming up now in lane C. Really working on getting her nose clip off. Okay, sign. I can't hear whether they said okay, I'm okay or not. Uh, Sun Ya, again, just working on the surface protocol. And then Lawrence has come up as well with a French captain saying, very strong, I'm okay though. So white card there for Lawrence from France. Nice, relaxed, heat. And if you can see that on the screen now, you've got a, <coughs> sorry, one of the Polish athletes high above. That's where quite often they um, hang out so they can have an overview of the pool. And actually it's where the athletes take uh, their photos with the 
and the chart or saying what they've done, like what country they're from, whether it's a PB, whether it's a national record, etc. They're doing it up at the time. And we just missed uh, the, Japan, uh, the Chinese Taipei with Wayne, which is one of the coaches, just doing some celebrations as well. So we're just going to advertisement for a minute before we start the next round. When we're embarking on a new adventure, discovering what our mind and body are capable of, we cannot learn to trust in ourselves without first finding trust in our surroundings. The introduction of freediving can be a life-changing experience. Double K wants to grow with you. We provide you the support to focus inward Let your worries disappear and just breathe. We lend you our experience to achieve your full potential and share your energy and excitement. We're part of one team. Together, Double K. So welcome back. We're just hopefully going to have the results from the previous round come up to let you know where everybody is before we put the names of the next round in. So we had uh, a young gap from um, Korea had 178. We had uh, Badenka from Poland did uh, 155. We had uh, Lin Xin um, from Chinese Taipei doing 160. Magdalena unfortunately um, had a little problem on the surface, so she got red card. Lawrence did 150. And Lee didn't start. Um, and I'm just checking for the Aussies because I know you're all listening in so I can find out for you maybe why Lee didn't start. Maybe she didn't, they didn't want to have a, have a dive today. He didn't have, want to have a dive today. Okay, going to the next round. We have Jinbin Ben um, from China. We have Paul Yen Li from Chinese Taipei. Adam from Great Britain, Lap Hing Chris from Hong Kong, Hyun Huang from Korea, and Mikhail Dominico from Indonesia. So I'm going to be looking for Adam, and actually one of my favorite divers is Po Yan Li. I thought he really dived nicely the other day. Um, so I'm going to see what he does today. One minute. <laughs> Benny, I think uh, Benny's comment is that Lee's probably already hit the beers with ants. Um, I cannot confirm or deny that, but I don't think so, actually. Um, 
but maybe it was day four. I felt that he enjoyed his competition enough and wanted to relax a little bit and maybe celebrate with the guys now. So we start this next round. I've got a few 200 uh, plus metre divers in this. Everyone starts, looks like they've started all nicely. We've got in Lane F, Mikael, in just the um, swim shorts. Um, the majority of divers are actually diving in suits. He's one of the few people I know who is diving in swim shorts. Um, but the water is quite warm here. Uh, for, for many people, they're comfortable in the water. So, um, Ben has already passed on the 50 mark. So was um, Poyen. And Adam's done past his 50 as well. So again, we've still got a combination of monofin and dynamic. And this gives you a shot of what happens with the judges. They walk along side um, in pace with the athlete, with the assistant judge, and also with the camera person who's taking the pictures. Um, and quite often the coach is walking alongside that judge as well. So there's a lot of activity on the side of the pool. So we've got uh, six lanes, and that means uh, four per people per lane is, are walking along that lane, plus coaches sometimes as well. So we've got um, Ben coming up to the 150. He's quite fast for bifins. He's got a consistent kick and then glide. And we've got Po Yen turning at 150 and Chris turning at 150 as well. And I think if we've been listening to Theo, we can look at the different techniques and the different turns from Monofin. And we've got Dominico coming up to 150 as well and turning. And uh, Mikhail Sorry has come up at 150 and is just doing his surface protocol. And we've got Yun coming up. So in lane one, ben, ben has just turned after 200. Done his, doing his surface protocol there for you. Really struggling to keep up and stay ahead. And we've got... And we've got Lane E, Eon coming up as well. And Adam's come up as well. And it's check whether that's a PB or not. And then there's Pujin coming up. His coach Hannah, making sure he's saying the right things. He's got a nice smile on his face. He didn't actually put down a personal best, so I don't know how much this is of a personal best for him or not. So everyone's completed. We seem to have some nice dives. So 250 meters for Poyen. He seems pleased. So the lady in the white cap is Hannah, his coach.
So some nice numbers on that one. <laughs> so we're just going to advert now. So welcome back, I took a quick opportunity to <laughs> eat a bit of my protein bar then, so I was quickly rushing it. We're going to get you the results of that last dive in a minute. And then we'll go to the next round. So, uh, Ben Wong got 208. Uh, Poyen did 250, Adam did 178, Chris got 200, Jan got 150, and Mikael got 151. So that puts Poyen um, in fourth place with Dimitri. Klaus is at third place at 255. Yu Xing is uh, from Chinese Taipei, 264, with William still in the lead at 287. We're going to put the next list on for the next round. The next heat, heat 18. Yahoo are uh, from China in lane A. Hakyong from Korea in lane B. Peter from Great Britain in lane C. Yangrua from China in lane D. Jijun from Chinese Taipei in lane D. And Olive from Finland in lane F. So, we'll wait on this start. We've got just short of the two minutes starting up on it. So in the females, we've got Bevan at number one, Maya, who we interviewed earlier at number two. See Christina at uh, three at 213. He died from China at number four at 210. So all these divers are um, 150 plus meters on their PBs. Um, and we've got somebody who's actually uh, 250. So we'll see what dives we get um, out of this round. And you see that's uh, Olive in uh, lane F. One minute. 
30 seconds. screen was just uh, Asian from Chinese Taipei we're close up of her start so everybody got off very nicely we can have a look here again interesting that we've got a combination of bifins and monofin so some shout outs uh, to Hak Young. And Peter has turned and making his way over to the, the 50 meter, uh, past the 50 meter. As Hak Young and Yahoo. Everybody turned nice and comfortably. Peter's actually very fast in comparison to other divers at the moment. So he's turning already at 100 meters. And we've got Olive turning as well. And you'll see that Quite often the monofin can be very fast if they're pushing the power. Um, Peter coming over at 150 now. Quite shallow in his diving, um, but very fast in it. So we've got lane E, Jai Jun turning at 150, and Hak Yong turning at 150 as well. And then Yahoo is coming up just earlier than the 150, doing the surface protocol. And doing a nice I'm okay. And we've got Jai Jun coming up, done her surface protocol. And Peter has just finished his surface protocol and Ying Gru has just finished the surface protocol and all of us just finished their surface protocol so the only diver we've still got running is Hak Yong moving towards the 250 mark from Korea Um, and at the start of today, the national record for Korea was 250. I'd have to double check if anybody's broken that uh, today. But at the moment, he's coming up to the 250. Turning. And now coming up. So he's just come up just past the 250. Glasses off. Okay. From the screams, that's definitely a national record, I would say. I'm only just waiting for the card. And at the moment, I put that on him being third place at this moment in time. If he gets a white card. I'm just waiting for Julia to give him the card. And it's a white card for Korea.
takes a lot of emotions for him there and for the home team. Really nice dive. So, nice dives. So, um, everyone's congratulating um, the national record holder. to do it at World Championships and in your home country, I think is very, very nice. So at the end of this we have got two restarts and I'll let you know what um, that means later on once we get the information. <laughs> and this is um, just in the entrance to the warm-up area. So this is where they can come 45 minutes before their dive. That's into the competition zone um, and they can relax and they can go in and do a warm-up in the water if they want um, or they can just sit by the side of the pool so um, results from that round you have Yahoo 145 you've got Hak Yong uh, 256 that was that new national record which was 250 before Peter unfortunately got a red card, uh, 207. Um, it would have been a very good PB for him. Uh, we have Yang Ru, did 186, which he's got, I've got as a PB. Um, Yi Yan, 165. And then uh, I have uh, 207, which is also a PB. And uh, Jay John is also a PB. So, um, <clears throat> we are going to put up the list for the next round. We have in lane A, Christophe from France, Christophe Borel from France. We have Marco Radovic from Serbia. We have Lee, uh, Young Yu Li from Korea. Jun Tai Huang from Korea. Nico Guzman from the Philippines and Yu Yong Chen from Chinese Taipei. One minute. Ten, 
So we've still got bifins and, and monofin in these dives, so. Five, four, three, two, one. Official top, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody started within the 10 seconds. And, uh, Getting into the flow, that is um, Yu Yong from uh, Chinese Taipei in the red suit in the nearest lane to us. A nice wide, fluid, constant kick. Everybody has turned now, uh, with the exception of Christoph, who is a very slow monofin diver. Um, so he's making the technique of being slow, um, but he's got a, um, a long dive within him from his personal best. So Young Young has turned at 100 meters, and so has uh, Yonte in uh, Bifins. And coming up is Nico to in the turn, and uh, Marco and Young Yu, I think, have already turned as well. So we've got athletes coming up to the 100 and up, just before the 150. Marco's coming up. He's doing his surface protocol. So Marco just uh, making sure his goggles were off. And Sasa, his coach, is just making sure he stays up. So we got Yu Young, Young turning, coming up to the 200. And that's Yonte coming up at 200. Yu Young from Chinese Taipei. <clears throat> wow. So she came up, was facing the wrong way. And uh, turned around, that's a really strong performance for someone to have the remember ability to do it. So um, Christoph is just slightly going into the wrong lane then, they were having to move the athlete. Uh, they had to move Marco for him to turn. So everybody <coughs> has finished, lots of cheers. Just apart from Christoph, who is uh, slowly making his way to the 200 mark. And Christoph is really struggling to stay in his own lane. He's actually moved into the warm up lane. Um, I'm not sure why. And we've just got Yu Young getting emotional there and help, uh, comfortable. So Christoph's just come up, managed to come up in his own lane, do a surf nice surface protocol. And they're waiting for his white card, his card, sorry. <gasps>
So, finish the round. Probably I just turn the sound off because I am um, <coughs> still struggling with this cough. So I apologise. <coughs> so interesting round, different techniques. <coughs> Christoph, the slowest. Um, by I think it's probably the slowest uh, dynamic dive of today. So we're just going to go to an advertisement now. Best Dive specializes in the design, development, and production of high-quality wetsuits. With our own cutting-edge development center and production factory, we've developed more than 3,000 styles of wetsuits over 20 years of rich manufacturing experience. The Best Dive factory has a working area of over 25,000 square meters and nearly 200 employees, all working together to produce more than 160,000 sets of wetsuits and 300,000 pieces of accessories every year. Seven. Professionalism, quality, speed, and scale are our core values. With freediving champion Jesse Liu as our global brand spokesperson, Alenka Artnik, William Joy, Stefan Randig, Fatima Kodak, and a number of other great athletes as our brand ambassadors, you can rest assured that our wetsuits are durable, robust, and world-class. We use 100% Yamamoto neoprene to ensure the comfort and durability of our wetsuits. We are honored to have exclusive license in China to use this world-class material. Our products have consistently gained popularity in Asian countries, and in 2018, Best Dive was awarded the title of most popular domestic brand in China at the Asia Dive Expo. We currently offer 56 different colors and stock size options to you, our customer. Along with a tailor-made size mix match, custom logos, and other personalization services, each and every one of our wetsuits is made to order. Manufacture and lead time on stock size products can even be as short as three days of expedited services requested. We invite you to check out all of our products online at bestdive.com. You are most welcome at Best Dive. Okay, welcome back. We're going to put the results from the previous uh, heat on. Ying, yeah, I'm okay. I've just got a really strange cough. And every now and again, I have a coughing fit. So thank you for your concern. Christoph Burrell did 179, white card. Marco, 144, red card. <coughs> I think I saw some discussion. It was about dipping, so it's airway dips. Young Yu, 210, new national record for Korea. Uh, Yonte, 203. Nico Guzman, 201. New national record for Philippines. <coughs> and <Yes>. Eugen. <coughs> Sorry, guys. 209. New national record for Chinese Taipei. So we have uh, Yu Yunnan from Korea, <coughs> Ji Jun from China, Lucia from Poland, <coughs> Ki Sang from China, Leslie from Chinese Taipei, and Heike from uh, Germany. Heike, if you remember, did a really great dive the other day. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. 
what she does on this dive. So everyone now turning. <coughs> and we've got some big personal bests in this dive, but as we've seen, it's the fourth day. If they've done every dive, <coughs> it might doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna do their personal best today. So um high cut coming through on uh, lane F, nice and strong. <coughs> and Leslie turning at 150 now. And you Nam turning and you Yin Yun turning as well. We've got Ki Tang coming up to the 150. So some nice long Dives, uh, Yunam has come up in lane A. And is um, really breathing strongly to make sure he gets the oxygen in. Yi Yun <coughs> has come up as well. And Leslie has shouted, has just screamed very loudly that he's okay. If you didn't hear that, maybe, I don't think, no, you could pick up that sound so strongly. Lane C, Lucia, <coughs> is just slightly drifting into the other lane. That will be a problem if she comes up in another lane. Uh, Leslie's got a white card. <coughs> <coughs> and we've still got lane D. Hiker. So Kitang is just coming up. <coughs> They're doing the surface protocol. And Hiker's just coming up as well. And is making sure she stays above the water. Experienced athletes know to make sure. <coughs> that they keep their body up above the water or that the face well above the water before they get a right card. <coughs> so some nice dives there, lots of celebrations. <coughs> so I think we might see some personal best results or uh, in the next, uh, uh, even national records. So, celebrations there. <coughs> Thank you guys for all your support. I, I do apologise, I know it's not brilliant when you listen to somebody commentating but coughing. Um, I'm on plenty of nice medicine. Um, I've been to the pharmacist uh, and it's just a dry cough which uh, just doesn't seem to go away and if I'm commentating for four or five hours it uh, 
it just seems to get a little bit dry at certain times so I've shouted out um, for somebody to bring me some extra water um, and it is a warm environment in the pool so but thank you and uh, I appreciate the, the support thank you very much right <clears throat> We are, we're going to have a look at where we are, if anybody's taken over. On the winners. <clears throat> so the men's, since Hakyong came in at 256, here's the top three has stayed the same. Um, and Heike came and uh, got 2 3 3, so um, she's now in, in 4. And Ki Tang did 2 2 9, so she came in, she's come over into uh, third position. So we've got Bevan number 1, Maya number 2, and Ki Tang number 3. Okay, so we're going to get the results from that last round. We had some uh, interesting results in the first lanes. Big results, but <clears throat> I would suspect surface protocol issues. So Yu Yang, Yu Yang Nam, 188, but red card. Yin Yun, 186, red card. Lucia, 183, red card. Then we got um, Qi Tang from China. Uh, 229. We've got Leslie from Chinese Taipei. They got 215. And Heike got a new national record at 223. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, we're going to put the heat on now. So we've got Jaime uh, Mimi Kim, um, Marion from France, Finn from Hol uh, Germany, Evan from the USA, Yunsum from Korea, and Jihee from Korea as well. Okay, next round. So we're moving forward.
everybody's in monofin on this dive but it's an interesting dive because you can see the different speeds um, and you can see the different techniques especially on the turns though where there was an actual full turn which does seem in that um, instance to slow her down at, the, at that turn but we've got everybody moving towards the 100 meters with Evan um, being the fastest in this round for us does not necessarily mean the best it just means that's his technique and he's chosen to go fast versus um, if you saw in uh, round 19 Christoph who was very slow in comparison to what would have been Evans if they were in the same dive so there you've got um, Jihi in lane F nice um, relaxed constant I think monofin technique but very streamlined and as Tia showed us um, that turn there is what he would call more of a fin swimming turn rather than a free diving turn where they're doing a full push off so we're in 150 So we've got everybody still in at 150. Um, so Evan has come up just short of 150. You've got Yihi come up as well doing their protocol. And you've got Marion from France coming up now at the 200 mark. really gripping onto that line to make sure she stays up and her coach telling her to breathe, breathe and Mimi is carrying on, she's gone past the 200 Mimi's coming up now doing a, so really trying to stay breathing coming up Breathing really hard there to make sure she keeps gets the oxygen back into her body. <clears throat> I think she got some lactic acid in her legs there because that seems to be tiring. Um, now we've got Lane E. Yunsen waiting for her red ca uh, her card as well. Seems to be smiling. Seems to be happy with that dive. <clears throat> cheering we're going to check um, whether the girls just broke their national record as well I think they did well at the start of the day the national female national record was 200 for Korea um, so uh, we'll see if that, that's come through because if the national record if someone else has already broken it early on then it's not going to show up on the system yet um, it'll just show up in the event listing for today but nice dives there from everybody So we're coming up to the next round. We're going to get some results from the previous round shortly. 
Um, that's uh, Amakoto from Japan. Or Abe from Japan. Uh, Kazoka from Japan. Um, This is Olga, one of the judges on the jury and her team. We've got a lot of supporters today. I think everyone's come over. And we've even got people watching from the high board at the back of the pool um, and everyone's gathering around the podium part which is where we take pictures yeah I think you can just see on the camera there's people on the high board having a view over that's uh, Sasa and that's uh, Mohammed Abdo behind giving you the wink he's the one of the um, admin staff for Ida so if you're an instructor in Ida and you ever write uh, for, to contact Ida about queries you will get probably a response from Mohammed Abdul. So we have one, two, three, four rounds left. And um, based on numbers, especially for the males, um, the last round has a lot of big numbers in it. So it could all change just in the last round of where we're going to get the top three from. So have we got the results from the last round? Okay, so we got Mimi, yes, as I thought, a 214, so a new national record for Mimi. Doing brilliant in this competition. And to be honest, I've been watching her for the whole year. She's been doing various uh, pool competitions and she seems to be really, really improving a lot. We've got Marion from France, uh, 200, but unfortunately she got red card. We got uh, Finn from uh, Germany, 207. Evan from the United States, 192. Yunsung Kim, 213. New national record. Um, so, as you can see, we had two people in um, that, that uh, event, both broke national records. Um, Yunsung first, and then Mimi. So, the national record, they both hold it. But uh, the new national record already currently is uh, Mimi. And then you've got Yi Hee Yun, who did 173. One minute. Right, next round. We have uh, Paul Chang from USA, Mizu uh, from Japan, Kazuki from Japan, Yong Yu Kim from Korea. Michael Yi from China and Benjamin Eckhart from Australia. 30 seconds. Everyone set off. Twenty. And we'll see how many people we've got in monofin versus bifins on this dive. So we can see we've got one person in bifins, which is lane D. 
Yonggyu from Korea. I think that's the only one. I think everybody else is in monofilm for this dive, yeah. So there's a lot of um, two kicks and glides, which Tia was talking about earlier on. So we've got a lot of shout outs for Benny, Ben. Um, so we'll see how the Australian pool god does. We're now coming up to 150 meters for everybody. They're all moving towards the turn. Young U turning there in lane D. <coughs> Paul's just finishing at 150. Really trying. <coughs> And we've got lane C, Kazuki from Japan coming up. Ben is turning at 200. Michael is just coming up in lane E. Young Yu is just turn coming up as well. And Misu from Japan has come up. So we have got <coughs> Ben from Australia at the 250 is coming up. And he's just done his service press code. He doesn't seem that happy, does he? Or is that a that's a happy smile from Ben, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Some strong dives there. Ben's got a white card. And we'll double check, but I think Paul uh, got a red card, but we'll get we'll get the results through um, formally on that. There's a lot of conversation. Um, with him at the moment and the uh, judge um, about his results. So just ex she's just explaining to him. Um, but he seems to be in happy mood because uh, they're having his picture taken with his red card and when he's trying to get the white card in the picture. Oh, that's, uh, that's Ben's smile, is it? Are we smiling now? Um. So. It's now starting to get a little bit exciting. We've got three rounds left and we've got two people who, who um, requested a restart. So I'll talk to you about that when we get to them. Um, that, uh, 
the team with uh, Lisa, <coughs> wanting pictures of uh, the white card as well. So there's two ways that you can protest. Um, once you get the preliminary results at the end of the day, um, and if the judgment is not what you requested, you can put in a formal uh, protest and you can get presented in front of the jury, which is all the main judges, and they will consider your protest. You have to write a formal uh, protest form. You can submit, um, you can have a look at any of the uh, videography that we had from that day. The other way to protest is on actually at the dive, at the end of the dive, you can go up to your judge and you can say, I wish to protest because of this. So these are more um, because of that you want to restart. So it could be that interference from the safety. It could be um, the um, you didn't hear the countdown, or um, you were put into you were directed to the wrong lane, etc. There's lots of reasons, but it's about you felt that you weren't in the right um, zone situation for that dive, and you've requested a, a protest. You protested there and then. And then what the judges or the jury can do is consider that and allow you to have a restart or not. Um, so that's what's happening um, in, uh, we're going to have a heat 26. <clears throat> and at the moment there's going to be two restarts for that heat. So results from the last heat are not come in yet. So we're just waiting for that. And we've got two and a half minutes before the next round. Okay, results uh, from that round. Paul got 150, but as you saw, um, he got a red card, and I think it was for surface protocol from what I could understand when I was watching them. Uh, Mazuzu got 208. Um, we had uh, Kazuki from Japan, also 155. Yonggyo from Korea, 232. Yi Michael. Michael Yi, sorry, uh, 208. Um, well, he put down 207 as his PB, so that's a nice incremental PB for him. And then you've got uh, Benjamin, Ben, from Australia, who uh, got 250, and that was a new national record. And everyone is congratulating you on YouTube, Ben. <clears throat> so for this round... One minute. Here we have Yoko from Japan, Elena International, Wu Yong from Korea, Bina from Korea, Hanoko from Japan, and Cheng from China. So we've got a, quite a few 200 plus divers in this, um, this discipline um, and we've got potential for this to upset the women's uh, rankings especially. sets off. We've got some bifins in this dive as well as some uh, monofin. So, mm. so someone just came over to say hello. Say hello Hi. Bevan. Hello everybody watching from all over the world. It's amazing to see so many people loving pool freediving. 
So we've got uh, everyone's relaxing into the dive. I keep, think I keep saying that I'm, I'm on repeat now um, at this point, but we've all turned on the 50 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll see where we get up to. How was your dive? It was great. It was great. It was great. It was Do you want a mic? No, no, no. I'm happy to share your <laughs> fairy thing. <laughs> yeah, no, it felt great. Um... So we've got um, Elena and uh, We Young turning. Ben has turned. And now we've got a uh, Chang turned. Turning at 150 is uh, Wu Yong. Nice, consistent flow on her dive. And Binner is turning at 150 as well. And so is Elena. And coming up in the ranks is uh, Hanoko. And Chang. Chang is quite a slow diver. And then uh, Yuriko from Japan as well. I heard you were having quite a, a nice technical discussion around the turns earlier. Hmm. Yeah. 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 What? Fin swimming and? Free uh, diving turn. Yeah, yeah. That he was calling it fin swimming turn and free diving turn. Um, I where it's like the turn the push, versus yeah push turn and brush turn yeah. ah okay it's the one you push off the wall and the oh, other no, you brush, brush off the, the wall yeah nice. okay so we've got people coming up um mm -hmm. Ben is just coming up and uh well young is really fighting to make sure he stays up So we've done some nice surface, surface protocols. I'm sure the coaches are getting louder today. They're really screaming at them to breathe longer. <laughs> so we've still got in the lanes. We've still got uh, Hanoko and Cheng. And uh, Cheng is coming up. And uh, we've still got Hanoko coming up to the 250. So now she's just come up, taking the mask off and saying I'm okay. So where does that put Hanoko? Devin. Ah. <laughs> what did she just do? 200 and looks like 30 25 30 35 yeah something like that she might her and Maya are going to be in close yeah attention yeah <laughs> yeah around the same same distance we're going to find out because that might change the rankings for the women uh, were you getting a bit nervous then? She really? might have gone past 241. <laughs> would have been a bad time for you to be coming to commentating with me, wouldn't it? It would have been an excellent time. <laughs> I could have handled it gracefully online <laughs> in front of people. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's, it's a really beautiful feeling to just feel like competing 100%, but at the same time also completely supporting. Yeah. And like just so joyful for, for others who are doing amazing stuff here. It's, it's, it's interesting because this is your first international competition. Yes. Yeah, and that is what it's like normally. Yes. There's a very big support team, especially mm -hmm. when you come to the World Championships, that everyone embraces each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I think sometimes people don't realise if they don't come, they don't, haven't competed, they don't understand that yes, it's a competition, but actually it's a very supportive competition. Mm -hmm. It's not. I want to win and I'm going to beat you. Yeah. Uh, it's much more mm -hmm. inclusive of each other. Yeah. 
So if anyone's on the fence about competing, I recommend just giving it a try. Definitely. Not as, it's not as scary as you might think. No. And if it is scary, then do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go to a local competition. I always say to anybody who first starts competing, don't have any expectations from your first competition. It, the first competition that everybody does is a learning curve. Uh, if you get a yellow card or a red card, then you've got something to learn from it. Um, don't ever put yourself under huge expectations on the first uh, competition. Cool. I think my, my, my word of advice has always been like keeping a growth mindset. There's actually yeah. no such thing as a, a mistake or a no. mess up. It's all a lesson. Yeah. And there's lots that can be gotten. Yeah. yeah. Once you do that perfect dive, then, you know. What? You've, uh, you've got easy. to the point where, yeah. It's easy. No one ever, do, no one ever does, no one ever does a perfect dive. Okay, cool. It was good to chat. Yeah, no worries. Thank you very much, Bev. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Okay, so we'll come up. That was Bevan from South Africa, who's just done an amazing competition, first international competition. Um, and we're going to see what uh, the results were and get the actual Hanoka's uh, numbers to see whether it, where it does move people in the female listing. So I've got the results for Hinoko on the wider list. Hinoko came in 236, so she's currently in third place. Yep, so you can put through the full results. So we had Yuriko from Japan, 211. Elena, 209. Wu Yong, 219. Binna Kang, 197. Hanoko, 236. That's a new national record. And Chen Kong, 200 meters for China. And that looks like also for Hanoko, that would be a continental record as well from my uh, system uh, that was accurate at the beginning of the day. One minute, so we've got the list for the next round. Coming through. Okay, so we have uh, Shini Oi from Japan. And we've got Suzanne Malseed from New Zealand. Gimon Kwak from Korea, Yazuku Ozaki from Japan, Sun Kyu Park from Korea, Inaka Santos from Spain. And you'll see the announced performances now are getting longer. Um, so they really need to, uh, to get a white card, they need to go past those announced performances. Um, so minimum they're doing 175 to get a white card now. So everyone started off. There's a big splash. Was that from Lane B, I think? Um, I'll have to re-look at that on the video later for myself. Um, but this is the next to the last uh, round, apart from the restart. Um, and we'll be looking closely at um, Lane D. Yasuku from Japan. Um, she has... Uh, Potential for big numbers in this in this dive. Okay. 
So everyone's turned. That's a definite down thrust on that, that uh, monofin. Uh, pushing down and just up, not pushing fully through. So different technique to what uh, Tio was talking about earlier on today. And lane F is uh, Inaki, who's doing the bifins. Looks very clean, streamlined bifins uh, dive. And fairly fast for bifins as well. <coughs> so Sang Kyu, Sang, Sang Kyu um, is coming up to the 150 from Korea. And starting to do the turn. And that's Inaki doing the nice consistent small movements with the bifins. And then you have uh, Yazuku and Gimon in the back. And we've just got Shina uh, turned as well at 150 and uh, Ginom. And coming up the rear on this is Suzanne from New Zealand, turning at 150. So everyone's making their way to the 200 mark. First one to turn is Sun Q. Um, and he's just come up past the 200 mark, as has Gimon. And now uh, everyone's coming up. Suzanne has just come up. Um, as well, and doing, doing, they're all doing this uh, st st surface protocols. Yazuku has come up uh, just before the 225 mark. And then Aki, Inaki has just come up finally. Um, past the 240. His team colleagues really get, making sure he's, he, ch he breathes. And then we have uh, Shina from Japan. Very quick surface press call. I always tell people to take a few more breaths a few more seconds to get oxygen in them before they start the surface protocol. And um, you have got 15 seconds. Uh, but he looks very clean, to be honest. Um, he looks like he's done about 245, 247. And then a white card. Nice diving from uh, Ezoki. So we're on to the penuplet, penuplet, the last, next to the last round. This was going to be the last round, but as I said, we've got some restarts. So stay with us. Because, uh, because I think in these, this round for sure, we're going to maybe get some changes in maybe both the women's and the men's top three. A nail biter of a dynamic session.
Okay, so uh, we're just waiting for those results. And then we're coming up to this next round and there is a lot of um, big divers in this, this next round. Um, which is why I'm saying it could really change the rankings um, for the overall uh, top three for dynamic. So the results can come through for you. So we have got Shini from Japan and that they got a new national record. Um, Suzanne Malcide, um, 181. Gimon from Korea, 191. Uh, Yasuka, 221. Another national record <coughs> for Japan. Uh, so but we broke uh, both the male and female national records for Japan in the same heat. Uh, Sanuka Park got 206, but unfortunately got red card. And Inaku uh, got a new national record for Spain at 238. Um, and that's a really, really big dive for them um, from what their personal bests were. So the next round, we have Julia Kozazaki from Poland. And we know that she's got a phenomenal uh, dive ability in her. She's already um, done some amazing dives, as we know from previous from the previous days. La Safra Clement from France. Alexander Bogaleshkin, international. Dmitry Samantankin, international. Alexander Makismov, international. And Mikhail Brian Tefs, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, also international. So let's see what this uh, comes up with. So from the women's point of view, Julia came third in uh, the Bifins first and got the world record in the DNF. Um, wow. So that's why we've got expectations for her. Um, and within the, um, me uh, the rest of the heat, um, we're all over 200 meter plus divers. And that's why you can see lots of people now watching this heat um, to see where it's gonna end up being. Just close there on uh, La Sfar, uh, Clement, Clement, sorry. Just um, at, from what I could see, at the 10 seconds. So, we have um, Clement in a red suit in lane B, Alexander lane C in a red suit, Julia in a blue suit in lane A, so that helps me understand the differentiate on the screen for everybody. And Julia 
if you've been watching before and you know uh, watching her dives in the past, Julia is a much slower diver um, and is probably going to be the last diver within this heat. And that's Julia in the background at that, that point. So I think that's um, Mikkel coming through and Dimitri coming through now. And in lane six, uh, lane C, sorry, Alexander is coming in for the 150 turn, and so is Mikal. And so is uh, Alexander Miskoff in lane E. So everybody's turned at the 150, with the exception of Julia, which is still making her way down the lane towards the 150 turn. Now everybody is announced on this dive uh, past 200, so they all need to get at least 212 for Julia and uh, Clement, and um, 222 or 240 for. Um, the Dimitri, Alexandra, and Mikhail. So Julie is just turning now. And we've got Mikhail coming up to 250. Ah, and we've got um, Alexander in lane C has just come up. And we've got lane D, Dimitri tur uh, just turn and come up. So they're really trying to get him to breathe, do his surface protocol. Clement uh, is really struggling. He's really working hard to stay up. Uh, and you can see now he's perfectly fine. Um, and Dimitri just needs a little bit of assistance from the safeties. So all, everybody is up, with the exception of Julia, who's still moving along at her super relaxed pace. So Julia's, Julia's just turned, uh, done the... 225 and you can see the safeties there and uh, she's using her arms now she's getting her legs are getting tired okay. and she's come up at 250 Removing the surface equipment. Looks very clean. Very, very clean. I mean, she smiles because she knows what this means. This puts her at number one for the females on Dynamic. see what we get um, for the guys and what numbers we've got for them and there'll be make, maybe some changes on the male dives but um, that's a really nice competition for you Julia um, some strong results for her on that one
where we've got two new uh, two restarts. I'm just trying to get the names of the restarts for everybody. So um, these restarts, one person requested restart um, because they felt the countdown was disruptive. It was when the technical changes, when we had some technical problems with the electronic countdown, and one person protested because uh, the safety divers, they felt that they interfered when they were doing their dive. Uh, maybe the, the safety diver accidentally mm -hmm. touched them. So they formally requested, protested, and they've both been granted a restart. And we're just trying to find out who the restarts are. Okay, so uh, the restarts, I've got the answers. So we've got Jeanette Molnar from Sweden. And we have Pei Patricia from Singapore. So we're just get there in lane um, F and E. We can do the quick results from the last dive while we're waiting for the start. So we had Yulia, uh, we know she did 250, that's not come through yet. Clement did 235. Um, Alexander International did 235. Dimitri did 253, but red card. Alexander Maximov did 253. And Mikhail did 271. So that will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the, dive, the restarts have started off. This is Jeanette from Sweden. And um, Pat from Singapore. in lane F and E. So they've moved, moved um, moving towards the 100 meters. Nice fluid technique there with the monofin. Doing the two kick, three kicks actually, and then gliding. Um, and they're turning now at 100 meters. The other diver is moving faster and is, is moving towards 
the 150 mark. So I think that's Jeanette, who's just come up and done a breathing. She's done a nice service protocol. And then that is Pat from Singapore, who's just come up. So Jeanette's got a white card, and Pat is just waiting for her card as well. <clears throat> white card as well it's quite tough actually if you um, don't feel that you did a good dive and there was a reason which was outside your control you ask to restart and then you have to wait you have to wait to the end because that's the only way we can operate it um, so it's actually quite good mentally uh, hard mentally for you to uh, be able to do that so those results from the round before has made a difference to the men's. William Joy is still number one, but we now got uh, Mikhail um, in number two position. Yu Sheng Chu is still in number three position, um, so it has made some changes. Uh, they're obviously all tentative um, and uh, will then be formalised. Um, and what's happening now is all the safeties are celebrating a good job. Um, and I can guarantee you at this point that Savos will be put chucked in the pool or will jump in the pool, which is fairly standard, I think. So thank you, everybody. Um, for watching the streaming of the 30th Ida World Championships. It's been a pleasure to commentate um, on these. Um, and uh, I hope you uh, uh, consider competing in another competition, in a competition if you never have, um, in the event. Savas would be end up in the pool. Every pool, every pool competition. Um, I'm going to sign off now, um, and you can listen and watch the uh, celebrations of the event. <laughs>